man! Whoa! No dumping. What do you think about that? That's too bad, because I'm about to dump this throttle. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! What's up, YouTube? It's Blake from Honda Yamaha Fan, and today we're going to be putting a big block Tecumseh in the Manco Big Cat. This motor is a 10 horsepower Tecumseh. It's basically new old stock. I got it off of Craigslist, and we're going to be giving the Big Cat the power that it deserves. So let's get to it. All right, let's do a little size comparison between these two motors. I don't know what you guys think, but that little six horse looks tiny next to the big, <laughs> the Chad 10 horse. Mm. All right, so here we got the motor and I, I like these Tecumseh big blocks because the, the motor mounts are almost exactly the same as the small blocks. You can't really see the holes down there. But basically, I just have to either waller out the holes or uh, re -drill them, drill them sorry, a little bit further back. And the motor will fit in there almost perfectly. But the difference on the big block is that the output is a lot further out than on the small block. So, I have to space the jack shaft driven out, which as you can see, I'm out of threads on this side. Not by much. You can see I need to bring it out like maybe a half, three quarters of an inch and get a spacer back here on the back side. But I think I can get some length out of this side. So, I'm going to loosen that nut and hopefully I won't have to get a custom jack shaft made. So let's do that and see if we have enough threads on the other side. Looks like I've got just enough threads there for the bolt. As you can see, I got just some uh, washers stacked up there. Not perfect, but it'll do. And then got just a little bit left in this one. Camera's not focusing. So before I bolt all this up solid, I'm gonna put the yellow spring in here. I got the jack shaft squared away. And I think it's lined up. I'm gonna mark the holes for the engine, take it out, and then we're gonna drill the holes and put it in one last time. Uh, let's take a look back where it came from. Alright, the engine is in and bolted down. I had to add one more washer behind the uh, driven to line it up, which I think it's pretty darn close. and it looks like the CVT and everything is squared away. So now that I know that that's working, I'm gonna take the motor out again, I'm gonna remove the governor, and I'm gonna put a Makuni on it. So let's get to it. Nice. Turns out I need to waller out the holes slightly on this to make that Makuni bolt right up, so. bike all put back together and it's time for its first ride. All right. 
right, the Manco Big Cat Big Block Swap is totally complete. I finished tuning the engine and it runs good now. And now we're out at a location that I can actually open it up, I'm not in the residential area. So we're gonna test this thing out and show you the power of this 10 horsepower Big Block Tecumseh. He's really tearing it up. This man is flying. Go, go, go. I think he just flew into some mesquite. Just want to show you guys <laughs> the hazards that we have while we're riding out here. Look at these big old, th big old thorns. It's like the size of my fingertip. And they're pokey. It hurt. Caught my leg on one. <laughs> oh, he's gonna cross. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> there we go, baby! <laughs> Andrew on the bike now. Let's see what he do. Whoa. Whoa. You buried it. Turn it straight! That's nasty. <laughs> Swear you, Andrew buried it. I mean, this is some soupy, thick, stinky mud. Soup central out here. Bacteria swamp. Big pointy thorns. Oh no. He fell. Ow, Jesus. These thorns aren't fun to play with. Are you okay? What's up, man? Are you alright?
Let's see a hill climb. Or yonder. What? Climb that hill over there. Oh man, yeah. look how dirty. <laughs> Am I pretty dirty too? Yeah. So you got some power? Oh yeah, lots of power, but let's see that shirt. Oh man, it's buddy. Like, comment, subscribe though. Check out our Facebook and our Instagram. At Honda Yamaha, man. Right on. Let's dump it again. Take it off the curb. I think we should do a speed run. Okay, you want to do it? Yeah. No, now we are. All right, now that we got done hogging off-road, we're gonna see how fast this thing can go now with the uh, with the 10 horse Tecumseh. And uh, I've got my phone here with the GPS, and I'm gonna come from that way and be hogging that way. So let's go. This thing's way faster. Oh, this one's Here he comes. This man is flying. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Oh my god, that was terrifying! <laughs> You're flying. Everything was shaking. Every <laughs> part of me. I felt like my teeth were gonna fall. Out. <laughs> I checked the speedometer down there, and it was it was 31, but it felt like 50. <laughs> this thing is insane. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that again. The top speeds on this thing are very sketch. <laughs> Filming. So the aftermath, taking it through the mud and some hardcore off-roading. It was pretty clean when we started, but now it's a uh, look like it just came out, came crawling out that swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Torque converter held up. The 30 series isn't really rated for 10 horse, but seems to be working fine. I probably wouldn't do that on a go kart, but mini bike's okay. <sighs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video watching us off road. Um, this 10 horse Tecumseh has way more power than that six horse. Before this, this bike could barely even get out of its own way, and now, uh, as you could, as you guys saw, it it hogs. She cooks about 31 miles an hour, chugs up hills, and throws big rooster tails. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Whoa.